Hi everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. So it is almost Halloween and I thought it would be really fun to do some sort of Halloween video and I didn't actually want to do like a makeup tutorial because I'm super super bad with makeup as I've said before but I have this Halloween dress from Aunt Rouge that I bought I think I bought this dress in April and I've literally been keeping it in my closet for I don't know months and months just waiting for Halloween to come so I can wear it and I thought it would be really fun to create a nice like himikaji makeup look to go with this dress but not only that I just wanted to bring it a step further and create like an actual Halloween look so I thought it would be fun to create a clown look inspired by the the lovely Lore. She's been doing a lot of clown looks on her YouTube and Instagram lately and I felt pretty neutral about clowns before like I don't really like them or dislike them either way but I just thought her makeup looks were really really fun and it's in the Halloween spirit so I thought I would create one too. So this video is going to be two looks, a Hime Kaji Halloween look and a Hime Clownji Halloween look. Punny right? So if you're interested in how I got this look or this look Please keep watching. So I've washed my face and prepped it for makeup and now I'm going to start the look. So I just thought I would do like a chatty kind of tutorial because I haven't done this before. This is my very first one and I'm a little bit nervous and I don't really know what I'm doing because like I said, I don't really do makeup. So let's just get started. So I'm going to start out by using my Pro Matte Infallible Foundation by L'Oreal. And this is literally my favorite everyday foundation because it just lasts literally all day and it's super, super matte and I really, really like that matte look. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do like my base pretty much the same as I usually do and then gonna switch it up in like my eyeshadow and like other fun things like that. So next I'm gonna use my e.l.f. concealer in the shade Fair just to conceal my under eyelids and around my nose. So to set my foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. And I am in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This is basically like my everyday foundation routine. I just kind of like to do my base like the same every single day. I actually do my makeup the same every single day. Like I literally use the same eyeshadow for like whatever I'm wearing and it's pretty sad. Like I don't know anything about makeup. I don't know how to put anything on. Like I used to try to be like a makeup person and I used to buy like a lot of expensive high-end makeup but then I realized that I didn't know how to put it on my face so I kind of stopped doing that. So next I will do my brows. This is kind of how I do my brows every day. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and my shade is dark brown. So I just kind of load it onto this angle brush and then I do my brows. One brow done. Okay, both brows are done. So I'm going to prime my eyes with the eyeshadow insurance from Too Faced. And now it's time for the fun stuff. I actually haven't planned this look at at all. So I'm basically just gonna dive into my eyeshadow palette and see what I like. And hopefully I can come up with something interesting for this look. So I have like the Too Faced like holiday palette from, I think this is from two years ago. It came with this, this, and this. And they've each got a bunch of different colors in it. And I think I'm gonna maybe focus on this palette just because it's like super, super bright and not what I usually go for. And I think it'll match my like Halloween dress really well. To apply eyeshadow, I'm just using my Urban Decay Naked brush that came with the Naked palette. It's just my favorite brush because it has like a small end and like a larger end. I'm gonna start off by using the Eggnog Latte palette and then I'm just going to use the eyeshadow called Skinny Latte to form a base. Obviously this is going to be a pink look so I'm going to use the next color I'm going to use is from the Peppermint Mocha palette and it is called the Candy Cane shade. I don't usually really like lighter eyeshadows. I think like with my skin tone, like darker eyeshadows are better, but I don't know. I just wanted to kind of experiment today and hopefully create a really fun look. The next shade that I'm gonna use is called Sprinkles. And it's just this really, really fun glittery red shade and I'm gonna put it at the outer corners of my eyes. blend everything out that we have so far. I'm actually gonna pop some of that sprinkles color in the bottom lid too. So next I'm actually gonna go in with this Santa baby color. I think this is actually a blush color, but I wanna use it on my eyes a little bit. I think 
to top it all off, I'm gonna go into the gingerbread cookie palette and I'm gonna take this really, really bright glittery color called Ginger Snap. Next, I'm gonna use my tattoo eyeliner from Kat Von D and just line my eyes. Probably create like some sort of small cat eye like I usually do. I like to start in the inner corners. I know some people like to start with the wing, but I do it from the inner corners first. I feel like I'm always just like holding my breath because like I don't wanna mess up. One eye done. Okay, both eyes are lined. So I actually don't really use mascara or false eyelashes or anything. All I like to do normally is just curl my eyelashes and then call it a day because I just like hate the mess of mascara. Like even if I use the most waterproof mascara ever, I just feel like it always leaves me with a black eye by the end of the day, especially since I work like 10 to 12 hour days. And I don't usually do blush, but I usually do highlight. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighter, which is my absolute favorite. Just like, look like how freaking beautiful this is. Now that I'm super highlighted, I am going to bronze and then do my lips. So for the bronzer, I just used this gingerbread shade from my gingerbread cookie palette. For the lips, I think I'm actually gonna use like a different shade than I normally use. I usually go for like a nude pink to brown tone kind of color for my lips. I think today I'll do something a bit brighter, so I'm going to use the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in shade Bianca. And I think this is just like a really light lip color, so I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Oh wow, that's so bright. All right, now I'm done with the makeup and I'm just gonna go put my bangs down and show you the finished look. All right, so bangs are down and I think for my hair, maybe I'll just do like a clip kind of thing. I don't know, maybe put a black bow in my hair. Okay, here's the finished look. So this is my Hime Kaji Halloween makeup look and it goes with my dress pretty well, I think. And then for the next part of this video, I will transform this Hime Kaji look into Hime Clownji. I don't know, I was just watching Lord's video like literally right before I recorded this and, and just tried to memorize what she was doing with like her first clown look because I think that was probably the one that I thought, okay, maybe I could do this one, but the other ones were like way too intense. Like I'm not that good with makeup. And to kind of clown this makeup look up, I am going to be adding some pinks to my face. And I'm just using the Santa Baby blush color from the mocha palette. So I'm just gonna put some on my nose. Oh my god, this is clowny already. I can already tell. So next I wanna create like the like lines on the eyes, you know? I'm gonna take this maple syrup color and try it. So I'm just gonna go straight down my eyelid and then do it on the bottom as well. Oh my god, Laura, I really hope that you watch this video and I hope that you like this because I have never done anything like this before. <laughs> I'm gonna make it like a point, but it's not really working with my shadow. Oh my god, clowny. So next I'm just gonna go in with some more white around my eyes because I think like, I don't know, it's not clowny enough if it's not white. Oops, I forgot to tell you what shade this is. This is the peppermint cream from the peppermint mocha. Yeah, that looks a lot clownier than before. So yeah, I'm pretty satisfied about how the eyes are turning out. I'm actually gonna put some false eyelashes on and I'm going to use these Dolly Wink eyelashes in number two, Sweet and Girly. I actually got these in Japan like four years ago, maybe less than that, and I don't really use it very often, so that's kind of why I still have it. I'm just going to pop these on my eyelids. I used to be like an eyelash pro like back in my gallery days, but now I have a hard time putting them on. <laughs> Cool, so eyelashes are on. And next I think I'm gonna do a little bit of something to my lips. I want to make them a little bit more like smiley and clowny, so I'm gonna just go back in with the color that I was using. This is probably gonna be a disaster. I'm kind of just doing like a winged eyeliner method right now. Like it kind of just looks like it gave my lips a cat eye. That doesn't look half bad. Does it? I think that looks fine. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do something, like add just a little touch. So I think I'm just gonna add like a little more touch of cute to this clown look and I'm gonna draw hearts on my cheeks. Oh my God, do I do one heart or do two? Oh my God, that's really cute. It's not gonna be symmetrical, but I will try. And for the hearts, I just use the 
color Notion from the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. All right, so this is my Kawaii Hime Kaji, no sorry, Hime Clown G makeup look. I actually think it's kind of cute. Like it's cute for a costume, I think. Huh, interesting, so interesting. I just wanted to show you the dress that I was wearing, and it's this Encore's dress, like I said before. And it's just got this really, really pretty Halloween print. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. This is my first like kind of makeup video. I don't really want to call it a tutorial because I really am just like putting on my makeup and filming it. So if you like these looks and like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And let me know if you want to see like more makeup videos. Like I'm not very good with makeup, like I've said before, but maybe I'll just show you like my everyday routine and just things like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And happy Halloween! Thank you for watching. Bye!